The London Underground sound is awesome. One of my biggest wishes is to record an album down here, but I can't, you know, because of rules. But the world has some loopholes, and I'm gonna use them to my advantage. So if I can't record down here, can I at least bring that cool sound from down there up here to my little boring sounding studio? Now you must be asking, are you on drugs, Julian? What do you mean take the London Underground sound from the underground up to your studio? Is this some kind of Lex Luthor plan of surfacing the underground? I wish. But no, I'm actually gonna do something way more geeky. Although Lex Luthor is a geek. But this is, this is geeky, so maybe it is a Lex Luthor thing. Well, whatever. We are gonna record in post responses. Yes, I'm gonna go from station to station in the Northern Line. Not all stations, because I don't have that much time, but some of the coolest stations, and I'll record in post responses of the reverbs down there. And hopefully, by the end of this video, you and I will be able to use these reverbs in our productions. It's not as cool as recording down here, but that's all we get. Now, I gotta say, I have no permission to do this at all. So this is gonna be done guerrilla style. I'll go in, I'll go out, and I hope no one talks to me. So don't expect pristine and post responses. Expect the dirty, grungy, Julian way. Now, I've never done in post responses in my life. So first, I gotta do a test. I have these school stairs in my building and it's the perfect place to record some reverbs. Look how freaking huge this is. This is deep and this is high. First of all, check out my little rig here. So I got a zoom recorder here, a zoom H6, attached to a camera tripod, monopod maybe, I don't know, attached to a stereo bar with two mics on it, two antelope mics pointing kinda away to each other. And I hope this is a little bit better than these two mics here on the device. So we'll see, hopefully it sounds good. All right, let's pop some balloons. Jesus, it's been a while since I've done this. Balloons are the poor man's way to record some impulse responses. You just pop a balloon in a room, then put it in a convolution reverb, and that should do the trick. And I'm tired already. That's not good. Okay, now that I've done that, let's just take some of those recordings into my convolution reverb here in Bitwig. Okay, here they are, right here. One from medium distance, one from far distance. I'm just gonna drag any of these into my convolution reverb here, and hopefully, that does the trick. I really hope it does. Okay, this is how my drums sound dry right now. Now let's turn on my little staircase reverb. That does sound like the staircase. So it works. I'm really happy. Let's do this. It's time to record some reverbs down there in the London Underground. So we're gonna focus on the Northern Line today because that's my line, the best line. Okay, we're gonna go north to Kingdom first to see if we can record that. Iconic station. Okay, so we're in Camden Town now, and the trick here is gonna be finding 10 seconds of silence. Because there's four platforms here and a lot of people. So we'll see what we can do. I'll do my best. If we can't do it, we can't do it. All right, let's give this a go. I tried, I tried. Okay, so Camden was a bit hard, too many people, you know, but I tried, we'll see how it sounds later. Maybe I'll use the weird parts of the sound as part of some weird reverb, we'll see. All right, we're in Old Street now, and uh, this might be a little bit more quiet than Camden, and I know for a fact there's a little secret platform here somewhere, and I'll find it, and I'm sure we're gonna get a good reverb there. Let's do this. That had a ring to it, which is quite cool. A ringy reverb. Let's see how it sounds on instruments later. Okay, down to the tunnel now. Okay, so check out this tunnel that I found in between the Northern Line and the train in Old Street. The reverb here is crazy. So I gotta try this. It's really noisy, but I'll try it somehow. All right, let's try the tunnel. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> 
Did you hear that ring? That was crazy. One more, one more, one more. Okay, I think we got this one. Let me just do a couple of haze so I can use it in my future productions. So, why not a clap? All right, and now we are in Morgate, and I know this is kind of cheating, but uh, I'm going to the Elizabeth line because the tunnels there are quite huge. So I'm hoping we're gonna get some cool reverbs there. It's gonna be difficult again, but hopefully I can get some cool reverbs from the Elizabeth line. I know it's not Northern line, but it's, it's connected. It's all good, it's all good. Ready for this? That sucked. All right, this place is not very quiet, but I'll try anyways. Kinda sucked as well. And there's a guy moaning in the background. I don't know why that guy is moaning. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm tired. I walked all the way to the Elizabeth line thinking that it was going to be an amazing reverb and it was the worst reverb. I think because it's new. Like the materials suck. They're not cool as the old ones. Now nah, I'm just tired in vain, but I'll keep going on for you. So in Clapham we have these double platforms. Let's see if this sounds cooler than the single one. That was cool. Okay, we're in tooting back now. I was expecting this was gonna be a little bit more quiet, and it is. There's no people here, but the station is noisy. <laughs> oh no, there's so much noise. But I'll clean it up, it's fine. Let's try. Okay, now we're in Collierswood, my station, the best station. Let's get some good reverbs. That was a good one. Let me get another one. All right, and this station has this little tunnel as well, which is pretty cool. And I think there's a different reverb in here. You can kind of hear it, right? So I'm gonna record something here as well. Okay, back in the studio now. I wish I could have recorded all the stations, but I just didn't have time for that. I started pretty late yesterday, just so I could get the least amount of people in the stations. There was still a lot of people around, but it, it, it was better than at 6 p.m., believe me. I could get some pretty, pretty quiet recordings, amazingly enough. I imported them. I checked them out, I chopped them up, I cleaned them up. Now I have two versions of them, one super dirty one with all of the low end, all of the noises in there, and a little bit of a cleaner one with a little bit of an EQ and a little bit of a noise cleanup as well. I'm gonna leave both in my pack, so if you ever wanna use these impulse responses, you can choose if you want the dirty one or the clean one. But yeah, I'm gonna show you now the clean ones. I really like how they sound. I like how the dirty ones sound as well, but let me show you the clean ones just so you can kinda get why I was so eager to do this and just how cool it sounds. I'm using the convolution reverb here in Bitswig, but you could use hybrid reverb in Ableton or if you want a cool free option, if you don't have Ableton or Bitswig, you could use this plugin right here. It's free. It's called Convology XT and there's a bunch of really, really nice options here and it's a pretty good plugin. But today I'm going to keep it simple and use my Bitswig convolution reverb. So these are some dry drums that I have here, just a loop that I downloaded from Splice. All right, and here are all my impulse responses right here. Let's put the candom one in there. Sounds really cool, right? Let's put another one that I recorded in Camden. Even though they were recorded in the same exact place, you know, just the way that balloon popped and how loud it was and, and all the other variables made these two reverbs still similar, but kind of different anyway. So you have two Camden reverbs right there. And although it was really noisy there, I still like how it sounds. It's still a really nice reverb from the Camden platform for all of us to use whenever we want. Let's keep checking these out. One that I really like for drums is the Clapton platform.
also the Collier's Wood platform sounds pretty cool for drums. And remember that little tunnel that I had in Collier's Wood? It makes kind of a cool roomy reverb, like not so long, like a room reverb for drums, which is pretty nice. And if you want an even shorter room reverb, remember the two reverbs that I thought sucked at the time that I recorded, which was the Elizabeth Platform and the Elizabeth Tunnel. Well, both of them sound quite bland, but if you want a short sounding room, they work. The weird thing is that it does really sound like these places. I, I'm not sure how convolution works still, but I love it. Just the fact that I can record a balloon popping somewhere and just stick it in here and make it sound like I recorded there, kinda. At least it gives the vibe, right? It's amazing. I'm gonna keep recording impulse responses for the rest of my life. All right, let's check some other impulse responses in some other kinds of material. Let's go for acoustic guitar. Okay, here are some dry acoustic guitars that I just downloaded off Splice. Now check out when I put the sound of that huge tunnel in Old Street. That was the coolest place that we found for sure in this recording session. I popped three balloons down there and they all sound similar but kind of different and they all sound awesome. I also have the claps from down there, which can be useful if you want less low end and a cleaner reverb for your mix. I also have some generic vocals up here. This is how they sound. I'm terrified to see you. Hiding in the darkness. Now let's put the tunnel on them. I'm terrified to see you. Hiding in the darkness. Another one that sounded really cool was that train platform at Old Street. I'm terrified to see you. Hiding in the darkness. It's shorter and you can still hear that ring that I mentioned about when we recorded down there. I heard this weird ring in the back and it's there. It's there for sure. I'm terrified to see you Hiding in the darkness one that surprised me for sure was tooting back because I was so tired at that point. I was so annoyed that the station was so noisy that I thought it would suck, but it actually sounds pretty cool. Check this out. I'm terrified to see Hiding in the darkness Colder when it's twilight And I've been feeling restless And you remember the haze that I recorded down there? Well, I'm gonna include them in the pack as a bonus and you can not only use them as a part of your production if you need a, a reverby hay in your production but you can also use them as an impulse response and if you put them on the drums, check out how cool this sounds. Crazy, right? Because now my haze are in rhythm with the drums. I didn't know it did that. It's pretty cool. I also got a couple of trains arriving, one in Camden and one in Old Street. And you can also use these as impulse responses, but I gotta tell you, you better turn the game down because it gets crazy.
to use this, to be honest, I would probably turn the mix way, way down and, and just do some heavy EQing here on just the wet side. So we just got a, a bunch of low end. You don't need all that for sure because there's too much. But it's interesting, right? I, I love to use weird things as impulse responses as well. You don't only have to use balloon pops or claps. You can use whatever you want. And that's the cool thing about it. Because <laughs> it's nice to break and confuse the plugins from time to time, right? So just feel free to do whatever you want to do. But now you must be asking, you keep saying that I'm going to be able to use these. How? Well, I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to buy these. And you're like, ah, oh, man, buy them? Really, Julian? You're going to sell these? Well, it's going to cost $1. Every single dollar that I get is gonna go directly into making this channel work more and more. I really want this channel to work and if you want to support it and if you like it all you gotta do is buy these impulse responses or buy the other stuff on the shop or buy some of my songs on my website. That's all you gotta do and everything's pretty cheap. Uh, I've been thinking about doing kind of a Patreon thing or something like that but I'm, I'm not sure I have enough uh, content or time to work on that because I really want to do something cool you know. I want to be able to offer cool things like this regularly if I'm gonna do a subscription thing but let me know if you guys would ever be interested in something like that because uh, I have a lot of ideas and I really want this to be my job at some point <laughs> in my life so if you want me to quit all my regular jobs and, and stay here just for you please support me by buying these impulse responses I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please let me know in the comments below it helps me a lot to have your advice and your guidance and please press all the buttons around me in this world that help me right now and I see you all next time. Thank you and bye.